Maverick's personality is a lot like mine. He, you know, takes time warming up to some people that are new in his life. And then when he figures out that he loves them, he gives them all of their, all of his love. Um, and he's very protective as am I, very protective of my family, my husband, of my friends and of our home. And he is just, fiercely loyal. He's the best dog ever and his personality. He always makes me laugh with his little ear. Always makes me laugh. I'm Katherine Schwarzenegger and this is my pet tail. So Maverick's about to be seven years old, which is insane. And he's a California mutt or California blend, I like to call him because I have no idea what he is. So I met Maverick when I was fostering puppies for a local shelter and helping a woman who needed some help with some foster dogs that she had. And I had decided to take a break and not foster puppies anymore. And then she called me last minute and said, I have this last little puppy. He needs to be with somebody who can give him really good care because he's very um, malnourished and needs some, some help. And I decided to take him and have what they call a foster failure because I decided to adopt him because I just fell in love with him. I think really from the start when I got Maverick, he was three and a half weeks old, really tiny, like this big and very sick. And so I had to give him a lot of TLC and um, he got even sicker right after I got him. We had to take him to the vet and he had to stay there a little bit and they didn't know whether, whether or not he was gonna make it. And I think when I brought him home from his treatment which he had parvo when he was a puppy, which is very scary. And when I brought him home, I think I really felt like that was the moment that he became part of our family. And just to see how loving my siblings were and my mom and my dad, just to see how they really fell in love with him and really supported my falling in love with him and also getting really attached to him and then ultimately deciding to properly adopt him um, was really when I think he became officially part of our family. Animals have always been a huge passion for me since I was little and a big love. And when I was introduced to the world of fostering and animal rescue, um, I was just so interested in it and just the many ways that you can help animals that need a second chance at life and need to find their forever home was really amazing and inspiring to me. So it's become a huge passion, which is why I love working with different organizations to kind of help spread the word. Maverick and Chris actually get along very well, which was something I was very nervous about in the beginning because you just never know how your pet will respond to bringing somebody new into the picture. And I was very, very lucky and am very lucky that they have a great relationship. <laughs> Finding someone that shares your love of animals and um, your passion for being around animals and helping animals is the greatest Thing to be able to bond over. So I feel really lucky to have been able to find that with my husband. <laughs> so my dog Maverick and my little brother Christopher's dog Champ spend a lot of time together at my mom's house and their dynamic is very similar to I think how my brothers acted with each other when they were little, which was they, you know, they kind of, well, one will hit the other one and the other one will hit the other one back and just constantly bickering and then they're very cool with each other. Um, so it's funny to watch their dynamic and to see how similar they are to how my brothers used to play fight with each other when they were little. My mom is an incredible dog grandma to Maverick and um, to Champ. Although I don't know if she would like that I said that, but I've heard that she said that herself, so it's fine. She's so amazing with, with Maverick and with Champ and very supportive. I have Maverick stay with her a lot of the time, so she's the best. I couldn't ask for a better mom and grandmother to Maverick. <laughs> My sister and I kind of co-parent Maverick together and she's so incredible and has truly been such um, a gift to be able to have her be so attentive and loving to Maverick and um, to do it together is such a great bond for sisters as well. And so it's been a great gift since day one and continues to grow and be more, more gifts constantly present themselves to me. So it's, it's, a, it's a fun experience. So I decided to write my third book um, called Maverick and Me. My goal was really to be able to give the book to children and teach children about the option to adopt their first pet 
Um, and it's been such a rewarding and incredible experience to go around the country and to be able to talk to kids and have kids come up to me and say that they want to go adopt their first pet. I've had Maverick for almost seven years and he's really been there for me through such formative times in my life. I graduated college and adopted him right away. And so he's really been with me in an apartment, in my very first home, um, when I first started dating my husband, now that I'm married. So he's been with me through a lot and I feel really grateful to have decided to adopt him. And he's really just taught me so much, not only about unconditional love and responsibility, but um, about patience and understanding and um, different ways to dog parent, which was a whole new world that I had never really explored on my own before. So I'm just really grateful and feel really blessed to have a little guy in my life.